Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, then welcome to my channel. My name is Lucy, I am a mum of two boys and I love all things fashion, interior, beauty and motherhood. This is my DIY hacks video. Since moving into my home a year ago, me and my husband have become slight pros at DIY hacks. All of my DIY hacks are so cheap because I am the bargain queen. So let's get straight into my hacks. My first hack is handy kitchen cupboard storage. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm always running out of space in my kitchen cupboards. I hate to have my sponges and everything on my sink. I don't like that. I like it all to be put away. So I have figured out a very good hack and somewhere to put them. I glued with no more nails, so good, three pound IKEA mini storage boxes to my kitchen door. It was so easy to do. I got two for double the storage. It was literally so easy to do and it almost stuck instantly. I'm gonna fill these boxes with things like sponges, cloths and anything else that doesn't look very appealing on my sink top. For my next hack, I really needed lights in my kitchen and dining room but I just couldn't find ones that I loved and I've been looking around and I saw these copper ones in Wilkinson's. I absolutely love them but I just wanted to personalise them and add my own touch. They were only £12 each, which was so cheap. And I thought, why not spray paint them? I love spray painting. And if you want to do DIY on a budget, spray paint will be your best friend. So I masked and taped them up, which was so easy. I thought it'd be a bit harder, but it was actually so easy to get the straight line. So I masked and taped them up, took them outside in the garden, spray painted them with the candy pink spray paint from Wilkinson's. This was like seven pounds maybe maybe a bit cheaper you can get a very cheap spray paint from the pound store but only in limited colors and i wanted candy pink so i spray painted them candy pink brought them in dried them off took off the masking tape and jordan hung them and i think they look beautiful they are so different and i know when people come around they're gonna be like oh my goodness where'd you get the lights from and i will say watch my diy hat video because i customized them myself other things I have spray painted were my kitchen dining room chairs. Jordan actually did that one, so I cannot take the credit. He spray painted the kitchen chairs white. They were pine. I didn't mind them being pine, but he was like, oh, I want them white. I was like, okay, I'll let you get on with it. I also spray painted two mirrors in my house. My white one, which used to be cream. So I spray painted that white to go in the dining room. And I also spray painted the mirror in my lounge black. It was, what color was it before? It was like a bronzy before. So yeah, I just spray painted it black and it looks great. My next DIY hack is marble contact paper. I'm sure if you are a DIY fan, especially a YouTube DIY fan, then you will know all about marble contact paper. It is brilliant and it will be your best friend. It is so good. We actually brought a coffee table for our lounge and covered it in marble contact paper, but then realized the coffee table was not really big enough. And actually, I don't really want a coffee table in my lounge. I love to have the space in there for the kids to play. So we kind of backtracked on that and took the coffee table away. But I've used marble contact paper for storage boxes. I think it looks so nice around the house so elegant and somewhere to put all of your clutter so i've marble contacted paper quite a few storage boxes around my house i also used it to cover this circular box which i'm going to use in my next hack marble contact paper i always get the same marble contact paper and i will link it below it's one from ebay and it's so reasonably priced i have got them from other places before but it's been more of a yellowy and i did not like the yellow look so I get the same one every time, so make sure you get the marble contact paper that you want. My next hack is using the circular marble box that I just made in the marble contact paper section. For this, you're gonna make your DIY flower box. I have loved these flower boxes since seeing them all over Instagram, but to me they are quite pricey. They're like 100 pounds, and I'm not gonna pay 100 pounds for that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe one day, but at the minute I just thought, no, I can make that myself. Get yourself a box, any kind of box. You don't even have to marble contact paper it, you could spray paint it. So, or it might be the colour that you want. You can customise it to however you want. I just wanted a marble one. I got these flowers from Poundland, so they were a pound each, which was brilliant. I then got this Oasis from my local garden centre. And I'm going to stick it down to the bottom of the box with no more nails so it doesn't start moving around because that is one thing with Oasis, you need to stick it down. So I got my no more nails from Wilkinson's, very reasonably priced. So it did take me a while to experiment with this, cutting the flowers to different lengths. I figured out it was better to have them quite short. So I cut them quite short and just started sticking them in. I don't think it's too bad for my first attempt. I could improve and I will improve when I do it again. 
But as they say, practice makes perfect and I'm pleased with my first attempt. My next hack is such a simple and easy one. It is to change the handles on units that you don't really like. So we got this unit from Ikea. It is a shoe storage unit, but we don't use it for shoe storage. We use it for bits and bobs. So it come with black handles, which I didn't necessarily dislike but I just thought that different handles would look better. So I found these diamond, like, crystally handles in HomeSense, and I thought they were so beautiful. So I got them, and Jordan changed them. He said it was really easy. I mean, I wouldn't have to do it myself. I'm sure it's so easy, and if I tried that, I could. But it makes such a difference to the unit, and it can be done on any kind of unit. So always keep this in mind. If you like something, but you don't necessarily like the handle, that they can be changed so easy. You can get them so reasonably priced as well from places like Home Bargains, B&M, Poundland maybe, I don't know about Poundland for sure, but definitely home bargain for B&M. They're so reasonably priced and of course HomeSense. My next hack are my wardrobes. I actually have a whole video all about these DIY IKEA hack wardrobes that I made, which I will link below. So if you are interested, you can go and check them out. They are so good and they were so reasonably priced, so cheap. They were definitely under £100, so that is amazing for wardrobes and they look nice. Mine could definitely do with a declutter and a good sort out. So go and check out my video all on this if you want more information on this hack. My next hack are these beautiful hanging plants. I have seen these like on so many Instagram accounts and I think they're so beautiful. But I don't know, I just couldn't get my head around it. Like, how do you do that? How do you make that? Where do you get them from? I've never seen them before. So I thought I'd give it a go myself. I got the nets that hold the plants from Amazon. They were so reasonably priced. I got a set of two and then a grey one. So changed the colours up a little bit. They were really reasonably priced and I will link them below. The plant pots I got from my local garden centre for only a pound each. I did think I was going to have to go to Ikea to get reasonably priced plant pots. But check out your local garden centres as well. They do seem to have a range. These were just white plastic ones. And I think they look great. You could definitely customise them, maybe even spray paint them. I don't know. Maybe I would in the future. To go inside the plant pots, I just got these artificial plants from Ikea. Now, I do want to go back to Ikea and get some different ones and get some hanging ivy. Because these are just ones I already had lying around my house. They weren't ones especially for this. So this actually isn't the finished look. I'm going to get some hanging ivy to go on them. I think that'll look gorgeous next time I'm in Ikea. So that is something I need to do. Hopefully I'll get there soon. But hanging ivy will look beautiful in these plant pots. And I think it will give such a nice feel to my dining room. I already have a lot of greenery in my dining room and I love it. It's kind of like glam slash greenery. So this is a great hack and will add life to any room. I love this hack. You hang them on the ceiling with hooks. Jordan was in charge of that and he said it was very easy to do. He got the hooks just from our local DIY store. Our final DIY hack actually comes from someone that commented on one of my YouTube videos, another reason why I love YouTube. We wanted to separate our lounge and our playroom. We've got like an open plan living area, but we have a very different kind of style that we wanna do in our playroom. I wanna make it really child friendly, fun and colorful for the kids, but then that would mean it would have to come into the lounge because we couldn't separate it off which was not really what I wanted. So someone said, why don't you just put curtains there so you can have them open in the day, the kids can play in free flow, and then in the evening, you can shut them up, which was such a brilliant idea. So this is what we've done. We've got the Kylie Minogue curtains, which I will link below. You can get them on eBay. We got them from HomeSense, but as you guys know, HomeSense don't do online, and I'm not even sure they do them anymore. So eBay is a great place to get them. You are protected on eBay with the eBay money back guarantee. So I love buying on eBay. And I think it looks so nice, so nice to separate off the room and have our own lounge. But then in the day, as I said, I can open them up and it still lets all the light through. My next hack is to transform your understairs. You can transform your understairs into anything and there are loads of ideas out of it. But we decided to transform our understairs into a desk. It is so handy for me now I work full time. It is brilliant and I absolutely love it. Jordan did it and he said it was really easy. He just used MDF, I painted it white and he put it all together. He is definitely not brilliant at DIY, so it is a very simple DIY job. His brother, Uncle Bubba, who is good at DIY, just told him a few tips of how to do it right and he managed to do it. So I'm so pleased with this and it's my little work area. And that is the end of my video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.